Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. If you don't worry, but we are be happy. Every little thing is gonna be alright. Guys, let's take a short look at Bitcoin. I don't have too much time today, so it'll be a very short video, like six minutes or something. And, but I'm going to show you four crazy cool charts about Bitcoin and the situation we are in now. So let's quickly jump into the video over here. Bam. I should have said Bob <laughs> here, guys. And um, this is the first chart, a day chart. On this day chart, you can see these beautiful colors. Again, I've been showing this many times to all of my followers. These are the Fibonacci levels that we took from the last bull run. So if we zoom out, we can see the 2017 top. That's the one level. And we can see the bottom over here, the bear market. That is the zero level. From there, these lines are taken. And from there, we could see where our resistance and support levels would be. You see here, fighting it. But we broke it. We went up to the next level. We broke it, we found support on that blue level. Here, above it, support. Above it, support. Above it, support. You see how important these levels are? Then we break down again, we find support in this blue level again. And that's how these lines uh, are very important for Bitcoin, Fibonacci levels. Now, at the moment, we broke that one over here, but it's already October. We came up all the way to the purple level, above the purple level, fighting it, nah, down below it again fighting it now down below it again and we found support on the red one if you can spot the trend that i'm seeing is that we are fighting these levels coming above the blue one finding support coming above the red one into the purple one finding support on that red top back to the blue again you see and every time we find support now this is the first time we go into the red and the purple one and we find support again on the red one look how often we went up before you went up to the top of the purple down to the bottom top almost down top down top this is now the same pattern we are seeing so for me this purple resistance at 4 to 63 needs to be broken of course to go to the top and that is like 72 in this system okay really cool chart let's jump here this is the weekly yes zoomed out today why zoomed out because i don't want you to freak out don't worry about the little thing. Everything is going to be all right. Oh, sorry. I forgot on the daily. But if you look to the bottom, sorry, here, the RSI is turning around. Always look to the left and see what happened when the RSI bottomed and what happened after. Bottomed and had after. So we bottomed here. What happened after? Run. We bottomed here. What happened after? Run. We are bottoming now here. What will happen after i think a run even these ones here yes bottoming and you can see small run so it's not like that we need to do a huge run but when we bottom off that there should be a run and we can see already the green candle starting on the daily now weekly this is also zoomed out um, yes the short and the longs are the bam bam indicators so you should have sold there bought there sold there again and um, and then we are waiting now for a buying opportunity again on the weekly this red line is the i can show you here the 50 weekly moving average the 50 weekly moving average is the one that we are finding support on at the moment this candle closed yesterday or this morning uh, the 6th of december till the 13th of december this one just opened this this one will take another six days and 11 hours to close we found support on that 50 weekly moving average which is around 47,000. so in my opinion we are not going to fall below that average we are going to bounce again up or we are going to go sideways a little bit and then this Bollinger Band will become less wide and then there will be a moment when it is not wide at all that, that we need to explode out of it again just like for example here check this period here look it became not that white and that bam we exploded maybe we're going to do that same thing now here again go sideways for a little bit and then explode rsi also at the bottom and um, going up 
and finding support on this greenish trend line that we can see you see it's every time a little bit higher RSI bottom there yeah. this one is now turning already over there so for me very positive over there <coughs> short term view for the people I will show you only this one because this is the um, Ethereum chart, Ethereum USDT, uh, showing you just how simple the Bam Bam indicator works if you do the spot trading, so not leverage, but you buy and sell. S let's say you would have started over here with $100. Uh, you would have bought, you would have sold over then, over here um, with a profit, I think of 7%, yeah, my thing is gone, it was over here. So that would have ended with 107 US dollar then you would have started again here with 107 US dollar you would have had 15 percent profit ending at 123 dollar then you would have started over there with 103 dollar and with 7 percent profit ending with 131 dollar and 66 cents so that's in two weeks 31 percent just buying and selling of course you can use other <coughs> tools like leverage and then the profits will be more but only buying and selling not the risk of being liquidated you could have made these profits Yes, they can also be smaller because now here, long, here, the short, I can tell you that one would only have been buying over here, selling over there, I think 2%, yeah, about a 2% profit. So yes, small and big profits possible. Now, let's jump into the next charts, really cool charts, because I don't have that much time anymore. You're talking too slow today, but people need to understand. I'm talking to my other personality, guys. Um, here we go. Bam, over here. This is the fear and greed, guys, uh, index. At the moment, we have fear. A fear of 28 here. 28 fear uh, on the fear and greed index. Last week, we had extreme fear, 16. Which means people are getting less fearful to get into the market. So, maybe people start to buy again more and more. The people that were very freak, uh, very afraid. I found a really cool chart on Twitter, this one. Um, it was by Crypto Yuri, I think. Um, why did I like it? I liked it because of the idea behind it. Let's see um, this. There is a pattern, the three peaks and the domed house pattern on the daily chart. And it's created by George Lindsay's. And this is how it normally works. <clears throat> you have three peaks, three peaks. You have the basement, you have the first floor, you have the roof and the bull trap, and then you have the plunge. Now, we had the three peaks. You see? Three, five, seven, nine. Three, five, seven, nine. We had the basement. 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. Not a perfect basement, but still, it's a pattern basement. Then we have the first floor, which I really don't see the same like this first floor. But again, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, and after the 20, we should get the roof. And that is the period where we are now. Are we going to get the 20 to the 21 um, run, which is around 90K or something, and then a pullback again, and then one more run to 130K, and then a pullback again. And then one more, this one here, the bull trap, and then, bam, fall completely down again to 32k, 40k, whatever it is. Love the, the chart. Thank you, Yuri, for sharing. Um, I'm not saying that is my opinion. I'm just sharing other people's opinion as well, so you can make your own decision what to believe or not. Bam, over here, guys. This is way more impu important to me. Hmm. Why is this way more important, Didi? Because here you can see that the Bitcoin network is really exploding in 2021. We settled more than 12 trillion US dollar in 2021. More than 12 trillion dollar was settled on the Bitcoin network. Last year only 2.3 trillion dollar. The year before 1.8. 12 is times 5 almost of what we had last year. There's a huge amount that is going to there's at the moment being settled on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is growing widely. And when Bitcoin grows widely, and when the bull run is over, and when we all made your shit loads of millions and are buying your Lamborghinis, and <clears throat> maybe a few of you could also do this. Really cool. You could 
walk the longest path ever possible on earth and which would be the path from Magadan in Russia all the way to Cape Town in South Africa I think it's in total 22,300 kilometer I think it would take you 600 days if you walk eight hours a day on average and um, you will go like through 17 countries you would have all uh, possible climates and years and cultures so really cool and um, bucket list plan for if this but going bull run plays out like it should be playing out above 100k and um, I hope you uh, really enjoyed this video guys if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave me a comment what do you think about these charts about the beautiful walk all over the world oh yeah and i am planning to invite and to fly my brother and sister with their families over for christmas to mexico mexico uh, because yeah christmas in the netherlands is not really christmas at the moment so let's see if i succeed in that as well see you tomorrow again guys bam